What's happening, everybody? This is your boy, Uncle Vinny. I'm not chilling alone. I'm chilling with Auntie Zamo. Nam Zamo Mbata, baby. It's the uncles. It's the uncles and aunties club here. Aunties and uncles. Yes. <laughs> What's up, Uncle Vinny? <laughs> I'm a king. I'm a king. Put your hands together. What a like that. Say it again. Give me all this pot over here. I must admit, your style is far into my kingdom, but it's impressive. That's right. There you go. Let me hear you say, hey, ho. Hey, ho. No, 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 no. Dad, that's his mother. Oh, don't you say to No, not to his mother. Tell us more about the role, like, in the whole movie, like, well, like, the whole character analysis. What's going on? Ah, what's going on? Uh, so her character is, oh, my character, I should say. Uh, yeah. Her name is Rembe which is mm-hmm. actually a real name from Uganda, a Lugandan name, uh, which means yeah. peace. Uh, she is sassy, she is smart, she's witty, she's charming. She is, she's a traditional Zamundan woman, but she's very unconventional because all the Zamundan women are expected mm. to be either a rose petal bearer or a bather, and she's none of those. She is a barber, she is a groomer, so she runs her own little barber shop in the palace. Um, I'm very excited to play her because she brings like a female empowerment uh, element to it, but also is able to be like a grounding force for um, the long lost son of Prince Akin. In that whole like you acting like with these legends, like how were you personally feeling? Like emotion, mentally, how was it like maybe seeing you seeing them like every day? At first you lose your mind, but you don't show that you're losing your mind. You got to play it cool, you know, and Obviously, once you get to your trailer, you, you want to scream, you want to be like, yeah, what just happened? Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think, you know, I tried to obviously be as professional as possible um, just because you want to make your colleagues and your co-stars feel comfortable. Duh. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I definitely made sure to, to show my respect in the best way that I could. Um, yeah. And I just had fun, man. I just had fun, you know. They were so welcoming and you know, a lot of people tried their best to pronounce my name right, which I really found mm-hmm. awesome. Craig, the director, made sure that people could pronounce my name. Jermaine, uh, my co-star, was like, it's not Nanzamo, <laughs> it's Nomzamo, you know? So those are small mm-hmm. acts of kindness that I got to, you know, truly experience. experience. And I, I had such a good time, man. You know, I was excited. It was such a great time. We didn't, every time when we had to rap, we just were like, no, let's keep shooting. You know, we like it. Yeah, we want to do this. Okay. Maybe like, I don't know. Maybe there's some people that want to know you better. Like, what's the most like funny fact that you know about yourself? Like a thing, a habit that you like doing? Like something that you know, like you can't, oh. you can't like, do every day. <laughs> what's the most interesting habit that I have? Mm-hmm. I, I have a bunch. The most nastiest habit I have? I'll drink tea or coffee over like two or three days if my cup does it. If I keep refreshing it, <laughs> I'll like leave it on the side of my bed. Yeah, on my nightstand, I'll leave my coffee. I'll do my own thing. The next day, if I'm coming back at night and my cup, the coffee's still there like halfway, I'll take a sip and I'll usually giggle like, damn, that's nasty. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what's the other like weirdest thing? I burp a lot, I guess? I don't know, man. What do I do, guys? What do I do? And eating a lot of popcorn. And I'm bougie. So yeah. I think that's... <laughs> if if I... I could be carried, honestly, 24-7, come on, man. God damn it. <laughs> She's your feet to uh, look, she has to be, oh my God. Fenty. It's the same tea, guys. Thank you so much, Auntie It's Zabu so cold. <laughs> Thanks, Uncle Vinny. Thank, <laughs> thank you so much for coming yeah. to us. I mean, it's very rare for everybody to see you in South Africa. Thank yeah. you so much for allowing me to talk to you. Ah, of course. And shout out to everybody on the African continent. Shout out to my brothers and sisters. Uh, let's keep the fire alive, man. Let's keep the fire burning. Let's stay united. Because united we stand, divided we fall. So, yeah, I'm I'm excited about our people. I'm excited about what the African continent has to offer, has always been able to offer. But I'm excited for this new generation in terms of how we are controlling the narrative. So shout out to every single African brother and sister. I love you.